Claire, uh, we had the first heat, so how did it go? Tell me about your ride. Brilliant, that was really excited. We've actually got 13 female squirt boats here this year, which is like the biggest amount that we've had um, in, in recent years at the ICF from all around the world. And yeah, I just threw down some of the newer moves that I've been working on with some of the technical bonuses that I've been trying to improve and develop in order to access more points, and it went awesome. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. You mentioned some of the newer moves. Mm -hmm. Can you explain one new move to me? and to the audience that might not know you know how exactly these moves are going okay so one of the moves i've been working on is a super clean split wheel so i've been trying to do a cartwheel one way and then stop it and change direction and cartwheel the other way but without using the paddle at any stage during the routine so the whole time it's just core work and just kind of throw the boat one direction stop it change direction and go back the whole time without the paddle so what that's one of them and it's three times the, the value of the basic split wheel so it's worth a lot of points but it's really difficult especially in that feature with so much current pushing around and such a small window where it's deep like it's a really technical hard trick and I got it in one of my rides so I'm super happy. Who of the other athletes did impress you? Um, Motoko from Japan, she got an awesome first ride. I think it was almost 700 points. She got a great mystery move and threw down really well. A couple of others that stand out for me really were Alabama, Tracy Hines. She's been working really hard these last few months trying to work out how to use this feature and how to access some of the higher scoring moves. She did really well. And Elaine Campbell, another US paddler, she got a sweet mystery move in her second ride. So they're kind of, they're ones that really stood out during that competition for me just there. Yeah. Hey, well, it looks like you're going for a world title again. What do you think, the final? How will that go and, and yeah, what are you going to bring us? I'm just going to try and throw down some big rides and just enjoy it. Like this spot is technical, it's difficult, it's not our usual squirt boating venue and arena. So we've had to really think about adapting my, well I've had to think about adapting my routine and trying to maximize the points as and where I can within the within the feature and within the arena. And getting a mystery in here is so important and, and quite tricky to do. So I'm just going to try and throw down some good technical hard flat water stuff and then get in there and try and get the best mystery possible. There are some rumors going on in the field that you're actually trying to beat the men this year. Is that, is that true? Uh, last Worlds I was definitely trying to beat the men and I, I think I did that in the qualifiers so that kind of reached one of my all-time life goals was to, to get a score higher. Here I'd love to do it again but with, with combining the freestyle and the square bowing and trying to defend two titles I don't know, I'll see how it goes, but yeah, it's definitely always on the, in the back of my mind. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Claire, and good luck. Thank you very much. Cheers, Rob.